I'm not saying that you should be worried if you're a Massachusetts property owner. What I am saying is that the uh, caution flag, it's been taken out of the drawer and it's sitting on the desk over here. There's no doubt that the market, it's softening, especially in the condo market. I take that back. The multifamily market, well, that one's doing pretty well. So two out of the three markets, I should say. If you're looking to hear about the Massachusetts real estate market data for single family homes, condos, as well as multifamily properties, then you are in the right place. Now, we have gone from a financial market guarantee of seven rate cuts this year and are now down to maybe, possibly, a diminishing possibility of two Fed rate cuts. If you're on the sidelines waiting for rates to go down, then uh, I really hope you aren't holding your breath. Because due to the increase in inflation, I actually think there's becoming a very strong possibility that the Fed is actually going to end up hiking rates. Real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb, and I'm a recovering investment banker, charged real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then note I am here to help. Real quick, we've actually changed how the real estate industry operates. We now offer our services as Pay as you go instead of the traditional pay 2.5% when you buy the house or sell it. It is modeled identically off the law industry. Home buyers can save thousands, possibly tens of thousands. Reach out if you are interested in hearing more. Let's start with the single families. In April of 2024, we saw 2,720 single family houses sell for an average sales price of $831,000. Sales were up this month. Make that two months out of the four that we've actually seen year over year sales gains. Now, the 2,720 single family homes that sold in April was 8.3% more than last year. We saw 2,512 homes sold. The takeaway that we all need to be realizing is that the sales levels of 2024 are very closely mimicking the sales levels of 2023. But the depressed sales really don't matter. This is because as we know, home values are tied to the inventory levels, not sales levels. April was a great month for Massachusetts homeowners. We saw a 10.8% increase in year-over-year -year home prices in Massachusetts. With four months down, we have now seen prices increase by 9.4% in 2024. This month helped push the appreciation rate up from 8.5% for the first quarter in 2024. Now under the yearly sales comparison levels, the 2,712 was a pretty good number. Pretty good in the sense that we beat out April of 2023. Excluded last year, that puts us in the ballpark of April of 2011 sales levels. So yes, sales levels continue to be low, but home prices, they continue to increase in Massachusetts by nearly 10%. We finally broke that 30-month streak of year-over-year -year sales declines in February, but that was barely a broke sales level streak right there. You can see that this month was a great month for sales. April 2024 sales levels were 8.3% higher than the sales levels back in April 2023. And we're going to continue to see this. We're one month sales levels will be down year over year. And then the next month, they're going to be up. This, this is our new normal. While the one trend is over, the year over year home pricing gain trend, that one continues. Make that 46 consecutive months of price increases. Two more months and we will have a four-year streak of year-over-year -year price gains. Now, this trend isn't coming to an end anytime soon. It's just simple math that it hurts. Prices are going to continue to go up. For one simple fact, it's because of inflation. The rate of price increases, that may decrease, but they are going to continue to go up. It's that simple. As long as the government is printing trillions of dollars, then home prices are going to continue to go up. Now, if we had to give a word of caution, then it would be due to inventory. Year over year, our inventory levels are up 2.75% for April, and these inventory levels are continuing to increase. There were 4,856 single family homes that came on the market in April 2024. This means that the amount of new listings in April were up by 22.8% year over year, as there were 3,955 homes listed in April 2023. Here's where you can really see it, and you can all see the trend as it carries through the first week of May. We started the year with the second lowest level of inventory in history. We're now at the fourth lowest level. We have 633 more single family homes on the market in the beginning of May of 2024 than we did back in May of 2023. 825 more homes than in May of 2022. I think this trend continues, but the May inventory levels are going to tell us a lot and set us up for what could be a very joyful fall market for home buyers. Quick recap. So sales on the single family market were up by 8.3%, while inventory was up by 2.8%, and the number of new listings were up by 23% when compared to last year's numbers. 
Home prices, they're going up, just like the trend generally suggests. As a matter of fact, if I was a betting man, I would say that home prices will go up for another two months and then start falling in July. It's the trend. Year over year, prices were up by 9.4%. April was another great month for Massachusetts homeowners. We have the condo market and the multifamily market up next, but first, any chance you can do me a huge favor as it just helps play with that YouTube algorithm. Do you hit that like button? It's right down there. It just makes a huge difference to me as well as the channel. And while subscribing, if you haven't done so and you're liking the content, that one doesn't hurt either. For the month of April, we saw 1,395 condos close in Massachusetts for an average sales price of $708,000. Let's start with the sales data. This month, we saw a pretty big gain in year-over-year -year sales levels. The 1,395 condos sold in Massachusetts for the month of April was 12.1% increase over the 1,245 condos that sold in April 2023. Year to date, we've seen a decrease in sales levels of 3.7% for condos in Massachusetts. Like the single family market, April was a good month for the condo market. Our sales levels were very close to the sales levels of April 2017. 1,395 units is only 20 units short of the 1,415 units that we saw sold in 2017. Now, the 1,395 units sold is a very pretty number. But what's crazy that this is the softest market in Massachusetts, and that is how much inventory matters. It actually matters the most. Inventory levels continue to creep up. The inventory levels of 2,328 units on the market is 7.2% higher than the April 2023 inventory levels and 12.2% more than inventory levels back in April 2022, which was an all-time low for April. Now, comparing our inventory levels to the 2017 when we last had similar sales levels, then that would mean inventory levels are only 1.3 times higher than they are today. 1.3 times. The takeaway is that the inventory levels are, dare I say it, normalizing? This was big news. The weekly inventory chart shows that our inventory levels actually crossed over the 2021 inventory level line. Now, this is data showing that the beginning of May as it is done weekly, but this is still huge. We currently have 429 more condos on the market compared to the same time back in 2023, 563 more compared to 2022, and 44 more than 2021. As a year-over-year -year comparison, sales were up 12.1%, but the amount of new listings were up as well. In April, we had 2,377 new listings that hit the market. Now, this is compared to the 1,990 that hit the market back in April 2023. This means that the amount of new listings were up by 19.4% year-over-year. Home prices were up in April, but they trended down a bit from March's numbers. That was a surprise right there. The average sales price of $708,000 was 3.2% higher than the average sales price in April of 2023, when it was 686 grand. This is where you are really seeing the effects of additional inventory in the marketplace. A 3% appreciation rate, that's a normalized rate right there. Now, this really gives you an idea of how not so great of a month it was for condo prices in April. I mean, it's up, but it wasn't nearly as strong as the first quarter of 2024. Year-to-date, condo prices in Massachusetts are now up by 5.4%. And now for the very quick and shameless plug. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home, then it would be a true pleasure to help you. Please reach out to me today as it would be an honor to guide you throughout the process. Now on to the multifamily market. This was a phenomenal month for the multifamily market in Massachusetts. In April of 2024, we saw 426 multifamily properties sell for an average sales price of $849,000. Just like the single family and condo market, the multifamily market also saw year-over-year -year sales level increases. The 426 units sold was a 31.9% increase in the year-over-year -year sales levels for April. This means that year-over-year -year sales levels are now up 5.7%. The 426 sales puts us on the sales levels of April of 2017, just like the condo market. These are strong sales levels for the multifamily market. So let's take a look at the inventory levels. In the entire state of Massachusetts, there are only 698 multifamily properties on the market. Inventory levels at the end of April of 2024 versus April of 2023 were up by 5.8%. For pretty much the entire year, We've been right at the 2023 inventory levels, but we broke out of that range in April. I mean, these levels are still absurdly low. The amount of new multifamilies coming to the market, that was up though. New listing levels were up by 25.8% year over year as there were 809 newly listed multifamily properties in April 2024 compared to the 643 in April 2023. When you compare our inventory levels today to those of April of 2017, 
then today there are 1.9 times fewer multifamily properties on the market in the state of Massachusetts. The great month in sales levels carried over to the great month in prices for multifamily property owners, that is. This is now the highest price ever for multifamily properties in Massachusetts. Prices were up year over year by 29.1% in April. Now this graph really puts these numbers in perspective. First quarter, it was great, but April was amazing. Multifamily pricing is now up by 12.7%. Those are some strong gains for multifamily property owners. And it continues to be a favorable trend for multifamily property owners throughout the entire state of Massachusetts. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs? Again, like, yeah, it's Jeff Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a house in the next nine or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you and just find out more about your real estate goals. And if you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a house, then I truly appreciate you just passing along my contact information. Now, you can visit youtuberealestateagent.com or find all my contact information in the description below right down there. Until next time.